Hey guys, today we are going to touch base on what is the difference between IS-17 and IFRS-16. IS-17 was the earlier lease standard. IFRS-16 is the current lease standard. I get many queries from students on what has changed so much from IS-17 to IFRS-16. This video will give you a gist on what has happened between the two standards. So what has changed now in IFRS-16 as compared to IS-17 is that earlier, the lessee, that is a person who has taken the asset on rent, did not used to record any asset in their books or for that matter any payable which are later than one year. Now what changes in IFRS 16 is that you need to record a right of use asset as well as a payable for the lease. This was not there earlier in IS 17. Why we need to record a right of use asset in IFRS 16 is that a lessee gets an uninterrupted right to use the asset for the lease term. The lease term has to be non-cancellable and only then IFRS 16 applies. Because it's a non-cancellable lease term, the lessee has the right to decide what he wants to do with this asset for that period. That is why IFRS 16 recommends that you need to record a right of use asset in your books which you need to depreciate in the earlier of the useful life of the asset or the lease term. This depreciation goes in your PNL as a cost. In IS 17, this didn't used to happen. Only the rental expense used to go in PNL. Now in IFRS 16, the depreciation cost as well as a finance cost goes with respect to this lease. Many students don't understand the concept of why the finance cost goes to PNL and what is this finance cost? Let me break that down as well for you. In IFRS 16, we need to record the lease payments that we are going to do in future years. When you enter into the lease, you need to record these lease payments as a payable, but at the present value of this payment that you are going to do in future. Let's say for example, you have to pay 10 million in future. Today, that 10 million is not worth 10 million. Today, it will be lower than 10 million because of time value of money. Due to this, you record this 10 million payable in future at a lower value today, let's say for example at 8 million. Gradually, over the years, you unwind this 8 million, okay? First, you discounted it from 10 million to 8 million. Now, you are unwinding this discount and gradually reaching from 8 million to 10 million. This is called as unwinding of discount. This unwinding goes as a finance cost in PNL now. This has changed from IS 17 to IFRS 16. Earlier, you only have one cost in PNL. Now, you have two costs in PNL. Also, what is the difference that has happened in balance sheet? If you get a chance, you should compare the balance sheet of any airline industry, let's say Jet Airways or Indigo. You should see what has happened or what has changed in their balance sheet from when IS-17 was applicable to now when IFRS-16 is applicable. You would see a difference in their balance sheet because their assets would have increased significantly and their liability also would have increased significantly. This would have happened because the airline industries don't usually purchase out the aircrafts always. They usually take it on a lease. Because of this introduction of IFRS 16, the right of use asset needs to be capitalized and a lease payment also needs to be recorded as a liability. That's why the balance sheet changes drastically now as compared to IS 17 to IFRS 16 now. I hope this was useful for you guys in understanding what is the difference between IFRS 16 and IS 17 now. If you want me to cover any more topics, please let us know in the comment section. If you have any doubts regarding this topic as well, and if, or if you want me to simplify further on this topic, please let us know in the comment section. Thank you.